When Pearly first arrived, we noticed he wasn't responding very well to voices. So after a vet check, we found out he was actually deaf. Pearly needed a few manner work. He was a little bit mouthy and a bit jumpy when he first came in. And he also had to learn a few manners with food. He was very, very skinny. Um, and he also showed signs of food aggression, which may have been related to him being so hungry all the time. What I did was examine Hurley, confirm that yes, he was showing signs of food aggression and collaborated with Ken at Cell Dogs to come up with a rehabilitation plan for him. Cell Dogs is a rehabilitation centre that we have where the inmates get to work one-on-one -on -one with dogs and our staff actually go out there and work one-on-one -on -one with the inmates and the dogs. And it just teaches them some manner work and helps improve their confidence a little bit. He's done fantastically with it and it's actually been complicated by the fact that he is a deaf dog. So obviously trying to teach a dog who can't hear you means that we can't use our voice for praise or to give him a cue. So everything that they had to use was by hand signals um, and they also had to use a flashlight to actually tell him that that was a cue for them to come and work with him. Some of the signs we use with Hurley are sit, good, down, stay, and look. Hurley's learnt a lot. He has learnt quite a bit of sign language now and he has learnt to have some manners when he's around food now. So he's definitely ready for adoption. His training has gone so well. He's very, very good with his hand signal cues and he's gotten to the point where his food aggression is very, very manageable. Because of Hurley being deaf, he does need an owner who is willing to continue with teaching sign language. So it is beneficial for him to have someone who knows a bit about deaf dogs. And he also does have Demodex, which is a skin condition, which will be ongoing. I think the most rewarding thing is helping pets feel better. Um, because essentially that's what we do. We recognise when animals are feeling uncomfortable and we do anything we can to try and alleviate that anxiety. I've known Hurley since he first came in as a little puppy, so... He's a fun-loving boy. He does love to jump up occasionally. He does love to wrestle and play, just like any other dog, really. He is one of my favourites.